Hey, 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 hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Blues and I am the Director of Creative Engagement for Blumenthal Performing Arts and I'm super pumped today because I have two incredible actors from our special engagement of Into the Woods that's playing at the Belk Theater all the way to the 16th, so it's happening now. I've got my man, Gavin Creel, who's gonna be playing <laughs> the Cinderella's Prince and also the Wolf. And we've got Jason Forbach, who will be playing Rapunzel's Prince. Jason, Gavin, how y'all doing? Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome so to the glad. city. Yes. Hey, thanks for having us. Week. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. good, good, good. So y'all have this amazing song um, called Agony. It's mm -hmm. a big song in the, in the show. Agony, all the torture they teach. And we figured, hmm, why not put you through some agony with some hot wings in this special edition we call um, the hot sauce sessions, right? So <laughs> what it. we're gonna do is talk a little bit, ask questions about your life, the show, and also eat spicy wings. So y'all ready for that? Yep, yes. I think so. You think so? No, I'm, I'm pumped, I'm really excited. Yes. I have to just, I have to say qualifier. Okay. I'm a wimp, everybody. Oh no. These sit in front of hot sauces, but these do not have the hot sauces on it, because if I ate a hot sauce wing, I would be out of the show and I would not be in it. <laughs> So wow. this is the true hero. You two well, are we'll the see. true hero. You're gonna let's uh, not so speak too watch, soon. I'm gonna eat and watch you sweat. Well, listen, yeah. I, I think that's that's fair, right? Yes, yeah, thanks fair. for being okay. honest. Yes, I can't wait. You. Thank you. Uh, so we've got water to drink, right? Uh, okay. In case things get a little too hot. But uh, you, well, you know, like um, sometimes is, is this is this it? Or sometimes there's like a beer or something. I mean, if this gets really hot, what are we gonna... Well, listen, I think we can, uh, I think we can accommodate. Uh, what do you have? Can we have a little milk come to the stage? Oh, oh no. there she is. Huh? Who brought her? <laughs> it's Milky <laughs> White! <laughs> Hi, Milky! Hi, babe. But Isn't she cute? She's, she's, she's adorable. She's gorgeous. She's the star of, of our show. Yes. But we all know Milky is notoriously non-milk. Uh, so if we could get <laughs> She's some non dairy. <laughs> She's the <laughs> non-dairy option. <laughs> Can we get some real milk out here? My man Harold's uh, gonna come to the stage. Oh. Shouts out to my man Harold. All right, Harold. Oh wow, okay, thank there you. We go. Yep. We have some lifesaver. Yes. Thank yes, you. yes. <gasps> okay. All right. We'll see. So, we'll see if we we'll see if we need to get to this point. Got you, got you. Um, and shout out to Kennedy. Uh, who is uh, operating uh, Milky White down there. Yay. So our first, our first sauce is coming from uh, the good folks down at Q Shack. Thank you, Q Shack. Uh, it is called the Q Shack's Signature Buffalo Sauce. Mm. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a wing and then we're gonna rate it on agony scale. Okay. One being the lowest, five being the most agonizing you've ever had, right? What if there's just like zero agony at all? Uh, well, I, I, heard I tried a little of the buffalo oh, and I had you? agonies. Oh, I heard yeah. you're from Kansas, so you know. Yeah, oh, okay. You folks are just out there eating anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> like all no right. agony at all. Okay, well, we'll find so out. So let's get into this first one okay. here. All right. Yeah, it is funny to be nervous to eat a hot wing, but here we go. Oh my God, Q Shack. What's happening? Oh my God. That's great. I know we have napkins, but I'm a finger licker, so. So oh, good. No, yeah, me too. Out right. Oh. It's really good. How is it? It's it, good. You don't find that spicy at all? No. No. It's a one, right? It's I a one. I dip my finger in backstage and I was like, ah, ah. You know what? The, there's a little bit of a, on the back end. Right. There's a little bit of tingle in the back yeah. right there. Yeah. Um, so listen, you all are down here on a limited tour, right? Um, yep. The show did really great in New York, the New York City Center. There's only supposed to be two weeks, then it moves to Broadway, yeah. and then the cast gets to go on tour. What makes this show so special about this cast and this particular show? That's, it's a good question. I think we hit like the perfect time for this show. Sadly, so sadly, we lost Stephen Sondheim, who's the composer and lyricist of the show and the legend of musical theater. This was the first public performance of a show of his since his passing. Mm. And you could feel the love from the audience. And I think that was largely due mm -hmm. to I'm really proud of our group. I'm proud of the show, the production. So excited to be here in Charlotte. But Steve watches over us. Yeah. It's, it's a really beautiful feeling. And you can, you can just sense people like almost paying homage to him mm -hmm. by cheering and losing their minds every night. Oh, I love that. And it was all, right off the heels of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And New York City was really hit hard. And so the, the, the the connection between those two things and then all of us getting together right. and the show being so joyous 
while still being true, mm. people wanted to laugh and they wanted to cry yeah. and they wanted to do it together. Mm -hmm. And there was something about this group of people where we all led with joy first. Nice. And that was always, that was the word that we worked toward. And so I feel the city responded in kind to see, to see that cast. And, and it was like, it, it, they erupted every night. I, it, was, it was shocking to me. Was it shocking to you, the oh, reaction? Yeah. And on this, on, as we have 10 cities, limited engagement across the country, and we're done this, at the end of the summer. What's Sorry, happening? dear. Well, you know, you I just like to feel a little bit. No, I'm, I'm good. I just, I just want to feel hydrated. Right, right. Okay, okay. He's, he's prepared. So <laughs> I, I love the fact that joy is the connector, and that's yeah, what yeah. you lead with. And I think to taking it to every city, leading with joy, just bringing joy and, and positivity mm -hmm. and energy and connectedness yeah. back to the theater, back to these folks who may not have even seen Into the Woods, and this will be their first time. So yes. you're bringing that, right? Love Our it. first time experience. Love it. I'm glad you poured water. Because Would you like some? Can I pour you some? No, water? I think I'm. You I'm, good? No, okay. I'm be a tough guy. No. Uh, <laughs> we're going to get into our next wing. It's okay. called the Chipotle Express. Okay. Um, <laughs> so the rest of our wings are going to be brought to you get by Pucker Butt. Yeah, I, I just, love that. I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, I, no, that's yeah. why I don't eat wings, because we call this sting ring where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's get real, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. If this is what we're doing, then this is what we're doing. So okay. uh, brought to you by Pucker Butt, and this next one is called the Chipotle Express. Oh, man. Okay. Right. And, you just, and, and you shout out as, when. As they eat this, I would like to tell everyone out mm -hmm. there, this is heat index number four. It says mm. smoking hot. Okay. okay. Pickle your butt. Sorry, pucker. <laughs> <laughs> How's that feeling? Oh, really? Yeah, there we go. It's there. It's there. It's just fine. I'm mm. going to go ahead 2.5. Wait. Do you have a piece of leather for a tongue? 2.5? This is a four on the bottle. It's building steam right now. Yeah. It's gathering. It's gathering up to a three. It's, it's kind of, yeah. It's a unique flavor, right? It's, it's water kinda, time. <laughs> it's water time. Yeah, it's like a full mouth spice. It's kind of brighter though. It's not like a. It's interesting. I like it. Yeah. It's good. It's got that smokiness to it, right? Yeah, it's smoky, but still like I don't know, citrusy. Is that nuts to say? 100% all natural ingredients. Thank you for choosing. The pucker butt. The yeah. Pucker butt. Um, so I I'm feeling a little before. agony with this one. And speaking yeah, of you said 2.5. Yeah, it's building up to it. It's not. It's four from here now. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Um, sure. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's good. So what is oh, <laughs> What is the <laughs> most? Um, you don't eat meat. Then. What has been the most mm -hmm. agonizing audition or onstage flub you've ever been through as a performer? Oh my god. Oh, onstage flub. I forget my lines <laughs> all the time. That's like uh, my greatest fear. And the worst is in a musical when you forget your lyrics, because the orchestra still goes, it's still cooking along. Yeah, this is this show is hard with words. Yeah, so many. It's so intricate. I mean, Sondheim as a lyricist is known for being this legendary wordsmith, and everybody knows the show. Well, a lot of people know the show, and the words really are in play with one another. So if you kind of go off, it's so easy for the whole thing to fall apart. Mm -hmm. Have we had any embarrassing moments between us? Not yet. Oh my God. Milky, <laughs> do you have something embarrassing that happened to you lately? Did you, when you were on stage, did something happen to you? Yeah. Do you remember when your leg came off? <laughs> <laughs> do you remember that? That was traumatic, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't wanna, we don't wanna bring up a painful incident from and, the past. And, and uh, Milky's um, spirit partner <laughs> might have had a good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Legs gone. It was, yeah. it was a full panic moment, like literally a three-legged cow out there. Oh, wow. But the great thing with this show is like when things do go sideways, we've had props fly into the audience. Oh, yeah. We've had people go up on lyrics. And everyone is so fun about it that the audience just erupts even more and has more. It, it kind of makes the show buoyant and alive. We introduce ourselves as storytellers, I guess, at the mm -hmm. start and the finish. Mm -hmm. So when things kind of go awry, it, they always end up becoming happy accidents. And when you're in the company of, of pros, they make it oh, we have fun. into beautiful, com amazing comedy. You're a little hot. Am I warm? Yeah. It's all these studio lights. Uh, yeah, I just noticed you had a little napkin in your hand, and I was like, is he hot? This is, this is my no, sauce that's, napkin. That's, that's the it's the Chipotle the Express doing what it. it does. There's um, a little Express going through your little body. <laughs> <laughs> so I've read that there are a lot of pranks that go on backstage. What are some oh. highlights of those? Oh, yeah. 
Well, um, well, you guys do a thing every night. We do a thing that, that um, our wonderful makeup supervisor and designer, uh, Kirk, films it every night, where we do a, we act out a movie. Um, Milky White is always hanging out backstage, but her friend Kennedy is <laughs> usually the star. It's still in there, isn't the it? The best star mm -hmm. of the movie every time. We do like a, we act out a movie for when Stephanie Block comes off stage, she has to guess which movie we're doing. They do oh, we wow. did Charades. musicals in the city, and now we do movies backstage, just before we finish the show. That is. It's like a nice little thing we look forward to, a little tradition. It's not so much in. fun. Yeah. Like, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Not a whole lot of pranks. I mean, Milky's friend Kennedy is easily uh, scarable, so that is kind of fun. But, um, you know. But you should see him. He goes down faster than like a bag of potatoes could be dropped from. Yeah. A, a, Do you know those a, a fainting high goats high. when they hear a loud sound and they just like get rigid and fall over? That's, yes. That's what he does. Oh wow. Kennedy. Is Kennedy that, or Milky. <laughs> well, Kennedy is a fainting goat in, in human form. But it's also graceful. He, he, he you come around the corner, he'll go, like, huh? It's and a he just yeah, yeah, yeah. No, drops <laughs> to the ground. And Safety then we first. We love it so much. <laughs> He's embarrassed. Sorry. Sorry. Safety first. I love it. I love it. Um, so. Uh, I think we're going to move to our next Ooh, I will podcast. say Pucker Butt is lingering. Is it lingering? Yes. Yep. Right, yes. How are you doing? I am not well. You're not well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and there's two more levels here. I, am, two I more know. More. That I, I would say this is a solid three. Yeah. Oh, for sure. In retrospect. For Blue, sure. Blue's four, right? You we're going to five. I'm, I'm, it went four, now it's backing down to a three. Okay, good. <sighs> so we'll see where we're at. Yeah. So the next hot sauce oh, is boy. the Voodoo Prince Death Mamba. Um, with ghost pepper and habanero pepper. Absolutely Say that again. Absolutely not. What's wrong with people? <laughs> Who? It is the Voodoo Prince Death Mamba. Um, wow, okay. Just so you can't, if you can, those of you can't see at home, there's a skull of some animal that probably ate this. Yeah, Death Mamba. All and right. then feathers coming out of it. I, I, I'm, I'm, so what's our, what's, we'll our, say, what's our rating on that one? It doesn't say on the bottle. Oh, it doesn't That's say. terrible. Yeah, because they yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah. tell you. There's no yeah, warning. They don't want to tell you. No, it just says, you want to know more? And then that's out. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I guess we do. I guess we do. So you want to know more? You got to eat it. All Here right. we go, shall okay, we? Here we go. You too. Cheers. You got this. Cheers, cheers. This is so cool. All right. Okay. Hmm. That's immediate. <laughs> I, am I doing this wrong? Well, you got to take a bigger this, bite. This. Is this like in stage? I feel like this is more intense than this. I don't know. This, feel, uh, this feels very, um, <clears throat> am I speaking too soon? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think you came out the gate too fast. No. <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> Bam. Pass out. Um, I, what, what are you feeling, I, Lou? I'm feeling like a three. You are. Still three. I, I don't see, know. listen, I've learned my lesson from the last one. Don't speak too soon. Don't speak too soon, mm -hmm. because it will lingering and crawl back up there and be like, oh. hey, remember me? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> oh, you did make a pretty big bite. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Here, I'll, I'll do another one just to, just Come on, to be yeah. certain. Okay. Actually, just suck on it. <laughs> just put it in your mouth no. and suck You'd never see me again. <laughs> okay. And so, let's talk about social media. So this one we call uh. Uh, Explain the Gram. So okay. what we're going to do is show a couple of pictures, well, a picture, oh. and you got to give us some okay. context of what this picture means. Okay, so Jason. Yes. You were the understudy in Broadway and the Broadway company of Into the Woods, while also Phantom of the Opera, right across the street. Um, and how how did that come about? And can you explain more about the photo? Uh, yeah. So I had been in and out of Phantom for uh, years, and was vacation swinging. Wait, wait, what's happening? What's happening with you right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, was like, I was like, I was like, I'm gonna do this and make sure you're not with the hand that touched the wing. Um, Wait, don't get that in your eyes. I know, I was like, ding, ding. Literally, you're blind for the rest of the <laughs> You're like, agony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. some milk, BB? Should I try? Here, yeah. let's give it a little yeah, try. Give yeah. it, give let's milk, neutralize, yeah. because this third one, I was like, is not as bad as the second one. The second one was worse? I think so. Hey, even after you took two bites? Yeah. Can you pass the water, please? I'm oh, really, yes, I'm so sorry. i fire over here. Here we go. Uh, so I, I had been vacation swinging there for a long time. Right. And, had, and I had covered um, seven roles over there. And then Woods popped up, and then it just kept extending and had this huge life. And I was covering four roles at Woods. And 
they are literally across the street, uh, across 44th Street from one another. Right. And at one point during the run, they were down a lot of people, and they asked if I would come over and play Raoul, and um, and and be the the romantic, the romantic lead of the romantic. show. And I was really honored, and I was like, I don't know if I can. And then Woods was really gracious about it, and I said, Listen, should things go haywire, and you know, with COVID and injuries, like you never know. Mm -hmm. I'm literally across the street. We can figure this out. And um, Woods was gracious enough. I went over and played Ralph for a bit, and then came back to Woods. And there, but there was a moment where I was playing Raoul on a Monday, and then was playing Rapunzel's Prince on a Tuesday. So cool. And um, and my brain was spinning. I can imagine. And Did I, those two roles just get mixed up any at any point in the yeah, night? Yeah, I'm amazed that it doesn't happen. It's only because I used to cover both of these, and it's very easy to mix them up in real Super. time. And that only happened slightly once, which I'm really grateful for. But so I played Raoul on a Monday, and then Rapunzel's Prince on a Tuesday. And at the St. James, the lip of the stage is kind of curved, and the audience is really like right there. And as I was bowing at the end of the show, there was a sweet man right here on the front row, and you know, you like, we were so close to one another. And as I was bowing, it goes, "I saw you as Raoul last night," <laughs> and I was like, "You did? <laughs> oh my God! Yes, I can't believe you're here!" Like we were having a whole conversation while I was bowing. And I was like, that's so cool. <laughs> that's awesome. So it was like, it was that's, a really special that's memory. That, that, that doesn't happen. Right. Like, that's I, not something that's, com it's not common at all. I think there's no. like, I know Cynthia Nixon, you know. From, Has a famous story, yeah. She used to, she played two different parts at, on the same, like she, in two different shows, in Karen yes. Mason too. Mm. You're the third. You, what, what good company. <laughs> yes. Wow. I just feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it, Milky. What do you think, Don't do it. Do it, PB. No, do you you're, like it? you're oh, a careful. herbivore. You're a herbivore. Right? Herb of, oh, no, you can't answer me. <laughs> so, uh, Gavin, you have been famously off the gram for, for oh. a while, but now that you're on there, you just started an account, like, I think last year. Yeah. Uh, tell us who was the biggest diva on set that day of that picture you have. Oh, this picture. This was a really, really great day. We had a, I think it was, it was the very beginning, and Vanity Fair was going to do this shoot with um, the six of us. And it was exciting. We got to wear all these couture outfits and try on all this stuff and get our makeup and hair done and everything. We get to set. And there, w of all of us, there was one person who was, yeah, it was this uh. thing right here. <laughs> Demanding. High needs. Difficult. Diva-ish. Mm -hmm. Milky, no. Oh, wait. oh no. Oh, wait. Wait. no. 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 Oh. No, come back. Oh, oh Gavin didn't don't. mean it. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, that was an exit toot, I think. That was a talk to the utter. <laughs> talk to the to utter. The utter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, we're going to move on, and we've got, uh, we've got a big one called The Bomb Beyond Insanity. Um, <laughs> These uh, names are killing me. It's the bomb. It's got a nuclear. Oh, is this different? The, the sign on here, right? Oh, no, yeah, that's a warning. If you want to try it, this is the worst this on the is show. Be the worst. I'll, I'll just do the tiniest bit. Okay. You're gonna so, try it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. So, what, okay, so we have the bomb. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you put your finger? Beyond insanity. No, uh, this is the this is the not this is the not cooks and, or the not. And Jason <laughs> has been brave enough to say, I'm doing this. I'm doing it. <sighs> um, so this is for all the dreamers out there, all those who have a. Wait. You know, you know, we're I here. We're like doing it. You said it. You said you're gonna. You gotta live your life. You gotta go for you it. We go are being brave. Cheers. So, Wait, so this is. Are you gonna try it? No, no, sir. You're not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I thought I we were in this not. together. We were up until this point. Okay, I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit on here okay. because I, 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 got, I gotta work you, tonight. I believe in you. Is that enough? I mean, I think yes, that's too I much. But okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, I really didn't put a lot on there, but so far, so good. The thing is, with all of these, it's like on a delay. Oh, God, what's happening to you right now? Will you walk us through it? Can yeah. you walk us through I, it? Where are we at, Nagas? I did not put a lot on there, so I feel like it's not. Here, let me just. Wait, you're going Are you going again? for more? I, Who I, are you? I just. Here we go. Oh, God, I'm nervous. You're nervous. If you don't go up tonight, we will be to blame. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel? Tell us. I'm okay. You okay? Wait, what? I'm, I know, I know. Do All the nerve like, endings are done. From what? 
that's not, that's not, we're not gonna talk it about that. It says <laughs> it's uh, 135 Scoville units. Okay. <clears throat> 35,000, I'm sorry, 135,000 yeah. Scoville units. How are you doing? Warning, this sauce is extremely hot. Keep yeah. out of reach of children. Consume <gasps> one drop at a time with extreme caution. Okay, one drop. Yeah, it's intense. I mean, it kind of is like, are they just, it all kind of like, oh, it kind of just stays in there a little bit. <laughs> okay. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, um, it's just like, uh huh. What is it? Tell us. It's burning. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Burning? Do you, do you flames? Feel it, do you feel flames? it in your throat or your stomach at all? It like, it just like coats the inside of your mouth. Nope. Right. Mm -mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's good. Okay, drink milk. Yeah. There you go. We're doing okay. All right. Dragon my milk. lips are tingly. Are yours? I'm, my mouth is calmed down. I think I'm ready for the gator. <laughs> Uh, uh, there was no way I was doing the bomb. And we were advised to re-sauce because it's been sitting. Right. So sitting under this these last one bit. is called the Gator, right? Okay, um, Gator. Which has Do Pepper X, one of the hottest peppers in the world. Pepper X. Pepper X. Was that engineered in a lab? I don't know. Like the Powerpuff Girls. I'm not sure, but <laughs> <laughs> let's see what we got here. Okay. We were advised to re-sauce, and I don't know if that's a good idea to yeah, re-sauce something know. that has Pepper X on it. So I'm gonna. Wait. Do the Jason Pepper movies. X would be a good drag name, don't you think? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She just comes she's out, spicy. she's dressed in chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> she's meaty. She's <laughs> spicy. She's the spiciest thing on the planet. Okay, so, here Shall we go. I eat this has been a pleasure. These are really good. This restaurant, y'all, oh. get into it. Yep. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Immediately. Immediate? Immediate for me. Yeah. Seven, three. It's How going to four. Water. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Wait, how do you feel? Yeah, it's, a, it's like a, it's an immediate zing for sure. Yeah, yeah it's right in there. <laughs> oh, let's just, I just am curious. Are you curious or are you just insane? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't, I, I. <laughs> hey, he took, that was a big drag. That was a big bite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So for- It's really good. <clears throat> if I can get the question out. I was no. gonna say, you're coming with a question? <laughs> I don't know. My it, plain is, wing. Are my taste buds just burnt off? I'm literally like, I feel like the first one was the most intense for me. I, I think so, but maybe the first one was <clears throat> because we hadn't had anything spicy all day. Right, right, right. And then not, anything else is just, you know, vanilla after that, you know? Yeah, my lips are on fire. <laughs> so for our final question, uh -huh. um, Into the Woods is about wishes and what happens after you get what you wish for, yeah. Um, what do you? <laughs> what do you? Yeah, you're right. What do you wish audiences will take away from this show? <sighs> well, they won't, they won't take Jason. He's not. He's not. He's not coming in tonight. Well, I don't know. No. What do you wish? What are they calling you? They're like. What if Jason? I can't enunciate? That's fine. What if I can't like? Uh, what do you wish? Um, I what do I hope they take away from Into the Woods? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, well, I mean, th just to harken back to what we said before, the joy aspect, if we do our jobs correctly and we can make a great relationship with the yeah. audience, telling these stories that we all know in our hearts and telling them in a new way, thanks to James and Steve's work, yeah. Yeah. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I it's like the lingering, it's a sigh. Yeah, it's in there. We want to be lingering with the audience. We want to, as they yeah. leave, we want to linger like the, the bomb diggity it. or whatever that thing is called. That's the bomb. The bomb. Yeah. Yeah, we want to linger in your minds, your hearts, <laughs> and your, your guts. <laughs> I said that. Why am I on a delay? Is it now hitting Honey. Me? <laughs> Do you need more water or milk? No, no you know, we're okay. Milk? Okay. Oh, we're it okay. It just hits you later? Yeah. That is, that is, the, the gator? is that the big one? Uh, it's between I, the gator and the bomb? I feel like this is worse than that. The gator's worse than the bomb? Gator gets a five. Gets a five? Yeah. yeah. I'm with five you on out that. of ten? Yeah. What's five out of five it, it agonies. Immediately. There's no, there's no build up. Wait, it's isn't like, it? It's like one to five, right? Five. One, five is the worst. Oh, five is the worst. Yeah, five yeah, is yeah. agony. Oh, it's, it's, it's really agony. in there. <laughs> I see. It's in there. Well, but the thing is, like, <laughs> With all Sondheim shows, all of them, Company, Sunday, 
this one. Sweet Todd. Well, <laughs> oh. yeah, maybe. maybe. We but there, there are so many, uh, like, wherever you are in your life, Whatever age, whatever you're going through experiencing, there is a character or a storyline you can connect with that really strikes a chord within you. Mm -hmm. And that's been the fun thing is to see little ones and, and like all dressed up like little red yeah. and still connect with what they connect with. And their grandparents that fall in love with these characters and the and the heartbreak and they, they see the they see this, the circular nature of life, and, and the show is a great deal about generations, you know? Mm. And it strikes people in so many different ways. <laughs> I'm not listening to a word you're saying. <laughs> you're over there pontificating, you're like, so, and it's just really gonna yeah. help people to yeah. understand <laughs> the beauty of the. <laughs> so people walk away a lot. <laughs> Well, you, know, you need to suck on Milky's udders right now. <laughs> Milky, Milky where too? are you? <laughs> well, uh, you need pure Milky milk. <laughs> Jason, uh, Gavin, I appreciate you all coming. Um, and, you're going to edit this, right? Oh, Gavin, Jesus thank you for Christ. participating in as much as you could. Solidarity. You, you, are, you both were heroes. Thank you. No, you I, I very well. My hero is, is, is Jason. Um, I, <laughs> you have eaten every level of what this is, and yeah. uh, it's incredible. I think. I think people are going to see the spice in your performance tonight. Right. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Nice hey, I just execute the, the lines that are given to me. Okay. <laughs> so good. In, I can't in, really feel my mouth, uh, but um, I know I had a good time. They're going yeah. to see the show tonight, and they're going to be like, oh. Jason was so spicy. Yeah. That other guy was, like, so was, that? Yeah. was so bland. So mild. Yeah. Oh. So, so mild, mild. Y'all, yeah. um, yeah, I wish you the best of success while you're oh on my your gosh. run. Thank um, you. From here to wherever it takes you. Thank you so much for sitting down with us. Um, fans out there, make sure you come and see the show. It's here to the 16th. Come see these gentlemen do what they do best. Um, and know that their Scoville level has to be, well, at least Jason, is in the millions. In the millions. <laughs> it's up there. He's hot, hot, hot. <laughs> um, so. My name is Blues. Uh, once again, thank you so much on behalf of B Blumenthal Performing Arts. It's getting to me. Into <laughs> the woods! Come see it! Come see it in the woods! Eat wings before you come! <laughs> Go! <laughs> Shouts out to Q-Shack. Thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Q. Pucker Q Butt. Shack. Thank you, Pucker Butt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs>